Regardless of how you might feel about Prince Harry and Prince Andrew, you must admit that the Duke of York has more dignity regarding their family than the Duke of Sussex does. Now, this is not defending Andrew in any way. He has issues and he needs to realise that there are consequences for his actions. He's essentially his generation's Harry. However, there's also a stark difference between the pair. Harry is all about money. To get it, he needs to sell out his family, mainly his father, brother and stepmother. Andrew, however, is honour-bound, so he would never do a train wreck interview trashing the family. Despite his alleged issues with Charles, Andrew has never once complained. Andrew respects the work his mother did during her lifetime, and he stands for what the monarchy stands for, its place in history, and what can be learnt from it. He may not respect Charles that much, but he would never write a book about how he hates being the spare heir. He might not like being the late Queen's second son and third child, but he can't help who was born first, though, like Harry, he enjoys the perks of being a royal, or he did. Also, his interview after the Jeffrey Epstein debacle came to light destroyed his reputation to the point of where it is now. Andrew was a good friend of Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. Epstein had the island where all sorts of sex was happening, and Maxwell knows a lot about Epstein as they had an arrangement. They were partners as in business, and Andrew spent a considerable amount of time with both of them. So far, it's just a strange friendship, but why was Meghan Markle supposed to testify about Andrew in the Virginia Giuffre case? Harry specifically addresses his wife's yacht girl past, but in doing so, it brought up even more questions rather than laying Meghan's past to rest. So Meghan thought Prince Andrew was a footman, when she first met the York branch of the royals. It's been thought Meghan yachted with Epstein. She could have met many rich men and celebrities which would thrill her. Ghislaine Maxwell's unofficial biographer has suggested that Meghan Markle may have met Prince Andrew via Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein years before she met Harry. UK's The Steeple Times in 2020 reported that a renowned journalist tipped them off to inquire whether the now Duchess of Sussex met Prince Andrew as a friend of the convicted paedophile Epstein before she met Harry. This question was revisited by Sommers, the author of Ghislaine Maxwell, an unauthorised biography, in a new podcast shared on YouTube, in which she explored the connections between Markle, her close friend Marcus Anderson, Epstein, Maxwell and Prince Andrew. Suggesting that Markle's friend Anderson may have been a connector to Epstein as far back as 2001, some have shared that the media may find a photo of Markle on a yacht in Phuket, Thailand, cavorting with Prince Andrew through Maxwell. Going further, the author also provides evidence of Markle having been invited to the Yacht Week 2016 in Croatia by an individual named Adam Hahn, founded by William Wenkel in 2006 and described as Sodom and Gomorrah at sea by GQ in 2015. It's unknown whether then the actress attended the hedonistic Tinder at Sea event that one participant Sweet Home Alabama dating show bachelor Tribble Reese lauded as like the Bahamas on steroids. The author further said on Twitter, the Duchess of Sussex is controlled by the same forces that controlled Jeffrey Epstein. Meghan claimed during the Oprah interview that she and Eugene knew each other before Harry. Then again, she's claimed so many things that vary in their authenticity, factuality and reality. Lady C said this morning that a huge secret is coming out about her. The royal family only recently heard about this, though it's not coming from them. Apparently it was the public that drew light to this, so maybe it's about either a surrogate pregnancy or the yachting job she had.